Hello, Quantify fans. Dave Carrier here, uh, speaking to you from uh, my hangar at uh, Sanford International, which is KSFB, here at the Southeast Ramp. And you may be wondering why um, 3A3 Julia Tango has not been flying lately. Well, uh, I just recharged the battery because it was in the avionics shop. And um, one of the things I wanted to sort of talk about today for those of you that own an SR20 or an SR22, um, there are issues right now with roll trim motors, as in getting them. So I have been now waiting for over a month for Cirrus to get a roll trim motor for this airplane. And um, just kind of a history behind this, Cirrus uh, actually referred a lot of the roll trim motors to Globe Motor. I believe they're in Ohio. And um, they decided to take all those parts in-house to Cirrus. And evidently, they didn't realize just how important a roll trim motor is because you need a roll trim motor for your autopilot, for, <laughs> for, for your top hat on your, uh, your yoke, and not available. So they're waiting for stock to come in, things like that. I don't know if you're having uh, those kind of problems. If you are, let me know. Post down below and, and tell me if you're having the same problem I'm having. I literally haven't flown in a, over a month. Today, while I've got nothing better to do because the plane won't fly, uh, I decided that I would be um, changing or at least uh, cleaning up the IFD and the MFD screens. And I'm using, I'll, I'll bring this in close, hopefully you can see that, Aerotect, these screen protectors. And I found these online. I uh, probably spoke to you if you're a COPA member. I found them online and online uh, uh, some before and after pictures. So I'm gonna try to do better than that. I'm not, I'm not just gonna give you before and after pictures, but I'll go ahead and, and YouTube the whole thing and we'll, uh, show you my my lovely wife debbie and i will be uh, cleaning the screens and putting on the screen protectors and i'm told that the proper way to do it is with these i know it sounds weird right for a screen but armor all cleaning wipes uh we're going to use this to clean the screen we're going to use a terry cloth towel to gently wipe the screen according to the instructions on copa and then for the uh for the corners, we just use a, a regular cotton swabs to kind of get in the corners. And we should be able to, according to the COPA site, we should be able to remove the anti-glare that's on there. And you'll see when I put the camera in the plane, uh, there's just some scratches on there from someone who tried to clean it with a non-soft wipe. And it's just basically what it did, it scratched the anti-glare. So um, we're gonna try and do that today. And so sit tight and we'll get the camera in the plane and I will show you how it's done and if it works. So here we are sitting in the plane and what I want you to see is, and you might have this same problem. Uh, I, I, I don't know who owned the plane before me. Uh, anyone that owned 383 Julia Tenko did a great job taking care of this plane. Um, but, and, and in fact had the uh, Avidine insurance on these screens and maybe that's why they didn't really care much but if I zoom in here you can kind of see right there all these scratch marks all over the screen so we're going to try to clean up those scratch marks and then put the Aerotech film right over it so uh, here goes So far, if you take a look at my side, I'm rubbing a little more aggressively. It's actually working pretty well. I've done the top part of it, and you can see here, it's, it's looking pretty good. So, so far, the wipes work really well. The glare material is, is really, really delicate. It, it takes a little bit of pressure to get it off, 
but you can kind of feel it as you wipe back and forth. It'll 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 get less and less. You'll get less and less friction. You can actually feel it coming off. So we'll just keep going. Fiber towel. Of course, there's the there's the product right there. Armor all cleaning wipes. And then for the corners, just some Q-tips. And that does the trick. We're also going to do the garments because the garments, as you can see here in the corners, has the same problem. But I got the Aerotech screens for those as well, so we'll be cleaning these too. You can see here, boy, they look incredible. These look like two brand new Avidine screens. And of course, we're gonna put the Aerotech film on there just to protect the, because this is bare glass now. All the original um, material is, which I think is looked like the spray on material that they must have just glazed over. But now the challenge is gonna be we wanna get all the dust out of there because much like putting a protector on your smartphone, every little dust particle is gonna show as an air bubble. So now we're just gonna do a rewipe of the whole surface, making sure we got no, I thought that was dust and that's not, that's actually in the screen, those little dots there. Just do a real good wipe over each screen. And then gently with the towel and the microfiber so we're not scratching the bare surface. We're just gonna wipe that clean. Okay, now mm -hmm. I bought some rubber, nitrile rubber gloves because I didn't want my hands to mark up the, the sticky part of the of the screen protector when I go to put it on here. I, I don't know how easy it's gonna go on, so just to be safe, I bought some rubber gloves. We'll come back and show you that. Here is the screen protector. And uh, the nice thing about these is they are conveniently marked, whoops, with front and back. And uh, the way the instructions say is to begin peeling the back and I guess I'm going to go right to left because that's where I want it to end up right there. I'll just go align it with the bottom might be the easiest way and then we'll go right to left so there goes nothing. Make sure we get all the dust off. Once again can't do this enough for those of you who have ever done uh, this to your smartphone. So here goes. I'm going to start here. Okay. Got a couple teeny tiny bubbles, maybe they'll settle in as it heats up. But for the most part, you can see, it looks pretty good. 
Okay, let's try this one. And again, let's get a good wipe. All the dust off there. Got those same little markings too on that one. So here are the ones for the Garmin. And looky there. That's the perfect little size. I'm going to use mine because I like mine better. We got it started. Just dropped my squeegee. Where's that one? Where'd you get the squeegee at? I got this one from um, for the shield for the phone. Phone shield. So this is a little bit a little bit easier because it's smaller. So we're just gonna stick it on and push the bubbles out. It's easiest just to push them to the bottom. Job done. Look at that. Not too hard on those. These are pretty straightforward, pretty simple. It doesn't take a lot of uh, skill to do this. Just a little bit of patience. And obviously prep. Make sure you prepare. So once again, this is what they look like when they come out of the package. That's the back. That's the front. And what I'm doing on these is I'm just actually peeling the whole thing because it's so small that I can just set it in there and push out the bubbles. Pull the top. Now as you pull the top, there are bubbles that are in there, but it's easiest just to pull them down. Seems to work the best. So you got one in the middle. It's pretty good. That's it. So let me zoom out. Okay, so here we here's the the panel. And there we are. There is the, uh, here are the completed panels. Okay, well, um, hoping the uh, trim motor comes in, well, hopefully by next week. And 383 Julia Tango We'll be back in the air and we'll start to uh, do some more uh, in-flight taping. But today, uh, all in all, pretty good, uh, pretty good result here with the new screen protectors. And uh, really the Avidines look like brand new again, as well as the garments. So, and don't forget to like and subscribe right down here and ring that bell. Also, uh, in summary with this project, I'll make sure I'll include the links down here uh, for uh, the different products that I used on this install. And uh, just feel free to send me a note and uh, if you've tried it yourself and got the same result. Uh, but uh, as far as I'm concerned, this was a pretty, pretty positive result on this one. See you soon.